<laughs> Let's play! Whoa! Hello there, ladies and gentlemen! You all may call me Pharaoh, and welcome to a brand new Let's Play. Uh, as you can see from the title, I will be playing Neo, The World Ends With You. This is the sequel to The World Ends With You, which originally came out in a, in a D, on the DS many years ago. But then a few years ago, they released the, like, final remix edition on the Switch, and I actually LP'd that a few years ago. So, if you guys actually want to see that, to see how the story originated, feel free to do so. Uh, but now, the Neo, Neo, The World Ends With You, uh, came out on the 27th. Uh, I'm hoping I can get this project going or on YouTube soon, but... There's so many other things that came out, including the Great Ace Attorneys on uh, the Great Ace Attorney Chronicles the very same day as this. So, uh, you know, and I have adulting going on, so I'm going to try my best to get what I can done. But regardless, if you guys remember, I also did play some of the demo of this game uh, a few weeks back. And I enjoyed what I saw so far, and that's what caused me to pick up this game. Now... I did transfer over my save data, but I, I do want to kind of start brand new. Uh, I know it maybe may not make sense. It's going to be a lot of the same thing, but I like starting fresh regardless. I don't mind. So um, just, just kind of a heads up on what's going to be going on for today's episode, at least. Before moving on, though, I just want to make sure I have my stuff set up here. Uh, Subtitles are on. That's good. We'll put the voice up, and we have English uh, dub, and I think we're good. We'll just go ahead and begin, and see how crazy this is going to get. <sighs> right. One a foe it is then. I think we all have friends like that. That text like that. It's like, uh Alright, man, we get it. But uh as I said, we've seen if you guys seen a demo, we've seen this before, but I don't mind going over this. So in terms of exploring the city, we have to use the left stick to move. Uh, investigate icons you spot while you're out on the town as they may trigger special events. Uh, the mini-map in the bottom left ought to come in handy as well. Okay. We gotta meet up with Fret outside 10-4. Let me think so I, this through. And by pressing L1, we kind of bring up what needs to be done. So, 
And there's many other options here, like streets, records, all that. Uh, we will get into that when the game allows us to. How about that? Uh, I'm also just taking a look at the HUD really quick. So we have our... Um, I was going to say. We have our thing in the bottom left there. Uh, the mini-map. Jeez, I kind of forgot. Like, I was like, what word was I looking for? Um... Top right, we see our level, we see the amount of yen that we have. It looks like we have like a battery gauge up there, and also normal. However, it looks like if you're staying idle, you have a few more options that pop up. We have the chat log, we push L2, and uh, I could have sworn, here we go. They have difficulty, but I can't do anything with it yet, it seems like. As you, as you see here in the bottom, increasing difficulty will pitch you against stronger noise and leave behind rarer pins. And then decreasing your level will reduce your team's HP, but increase the drop rate. So, I don't think we, we can't do anything yet, but I think eventually. And I think what I'm going to do when we have this option open, I may begin playing on hard at least and, and drop the levels a little bit. Ultimate seems like it probably kick my ass. Um, okay, so... See where we need to go. I guess we can do that. Okay. I love the way this game looks, really. And I find it funny how, like, these non-important, like, NPCs, they have no face. I guess it saves on production, right? It's not needed, so why include it? But I love the aesthetic of the first game, so I'm hoping this really, really does build upon it. I might start voicing those uh, text messages just instead of having being silent. So by pressing L1, we can check our mental notes or Rindo. And if you guys didn't know, that's our character's name. He jots down all the important info he learns, so review what he's recorded if you ever feel stuck. Uh, exclamation mark will appear in the upper left every time he makes a new mental note. I will keep that in mind. Hey. So this is 10-4, which we should be familiar with, and that is our good old bu uh, buddy, I guess. <laughs> Once uh, these girls stop talking. There you go. My Rin dude! You finally made it! Yeah, no thanks to you. <laughs> my bad. Anyway, I had to line up for a little something I've had my eye on. Okay. Well, don't you want to know what I bought? Not really. Oh, you're killing me. Give me a guess. Fine. Clothes? Bzz, nope. Bummer. Come on, work with me here. Fine. What is it? Hint. There's one for each of us. Hmm. Some kind of food? Ta-da! What is it? A Reaper pin, duh. Haven't you seen them on everyone's book bags? Maybe. Of course you have. Everyone's got them. Anyway, there I was, just checking the selection, and next thing I knew, I had two pins and an empty wallet. You blew all your money on pins? Not just any pins, Rin dude. These things have got value. Enough to make me, of all people, wait in line for them. Here, see for yourself. Huh? Hey, watch it. If you lose it, I can't buy you another. Dude, you practically threw it at me. Oh, thanks. <sighs> Doesn't look that special to me. I gotta say, I'm feeling kind of hungry. Eh? Come on, let's grab a bite. We could, I guess. All right, now we just gotta figure out what to eat. I was thinking either ramen or curry. Let's head to Dogenzaka and go from there. So I'm going to say this right now. I have a weird feeling that that person who picked up the pin for us and handed it to Rindo. I don't know. It doesn't it didn't seem random per se, because I'd like to think that if it wasn't important, 
the developers wouldn't have had like a little extra bubble for the person's legs and them handing it to us. So, just my little theory there. Anyway, we are going to grab lunch at Dogenzaga. Are we going to move for ramen or curry? It's a, it's a good question. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Yep. Frankly, I can't remember what I chose. I think in a demo I chose curry, but I kind of want to choose ramen this time around. I think that's what I'm going to do. Hey! Oh, never mind. They're not talking. So, what's your stomach telling you? Mm -hmm. I think he's fine with anything. Well, let's narrow down our options. If he feels like ramen, there's a place right over there. Oh, right. There's also a great Indian place right around the corner. Oh, and I want to check out the new curry place, although it looks like it's not open yet. So, tell your tummy to either ramen or Indian. So, yeah, I think last time I checked out the Indian place. However, let's see what happens this time around if I decide to go with ramen. Because you can't beat good old ramen, you know? Ah, in the mood for men, huh? I could definitely go for a noodle bowl or three or five. Mm. Mm. Uh, yeah, I really hope this doesn't have, like, a huge impact on the story, but, uh, in case it does, whoops. Sure, let's eat. Ah. Right on! Let's do this! Table, table for two, please! Alright, ramen time! It looks kind of hot. Ow, it is hot. Huh? Oh, swallow again. It's a weird ass looking squirrel. Yeah, what the hell's wrong with it? Not the poo poo you. By, wait, I want poo poo? Oh, apparently so. Not the poo poo you wanted, but look what I just caught. Oh, nice. Hey! Eh, what's up? Give me a sec. Nutkin! Nut kid. Wow. Okay, that's a name. Hey, Moogle. This is uh this was published by Square Enix, so where where did where did you find it? Should we uh shut up right in the middle of the crossing, huh? Should we uh oh, no way. You're in Shubia? Me too. Grin, dude. Hey, who who are you texting? Who is this mystery person? Hmm. Ah, just a friend I met through Fango. So, uh, said they found something good at the crossing. Nice! So, um, what's a Fango? A game. Oh, right! That monster collecting thing! Is it fun? Can I try? Should be around here somewhere. Who? Monsters? Which one? You wanna catch them? Maybe catch them all? What? No, my friend. Oh! Wait! Who is this friend, and why haven't I met them? I mean, technically, I haven't either. Whoa, dude, and you're, they're at the Scrabble Crossing right now? Well, they were, but they probably left. Haven't even read my messages yet. But they just texted you, right? Even they left, they couldn't have gone gotten far. We can still catch your friend and that monster. <laughs> you know, two things of one you. I mean... Wait, two things of one you. I messed that, that I messed up that same sentence last time too. Huh? No, it's ah, forget it. Come on. Too late. My mind's made up. Let's move, Rin dude. Well, thankfully the crossing is right here. Oh. Huh? Oh, never mind. I'm banging into people. Whoa. Oh, pardon me. Uh, no worries. <sighs> See what I tell you about texting and walking? Eyes on the road, buddy. It's called peripheral vision. More like blind spot. Less talking, more walking. All right. Hmm. Hmm. All right, I'm, I'm sure that's nothing. But yeah, we're going back to the crossing and apparently our friend is around here somewhere. Well, we gotta go past 10 4. God, I, I remember, like, when they first announced this. Oh, man, I was so damn excited. And look at that. Like, 
We don't have to wait anymore. We're playing the game. It's kind of weird how that happens, right? So who exactly are we looking for? Dude, just forget it. What the? Whoa, what's going on? Rin, dude. You okay? The hell was that? No! Did you see that? They're shooting off fireworks. Let's check it out, Rin, dude. Uh, dude, wait up! It's like a movie about people who can do that thing. Ah, uh, what's that called? You know, the brain power thing. Uh, what is that called? Yeah, it's gonna drive me crazy. Come on, think. Oh, psychokinesis? Bingo! Uh, Fred, how come we're the only ones paying attention? Hmm, maybe they're all part of the crew? I've got a bad feeling about this. Yeah, I'm starting to get one too. Greetings. Uh huh? Sheeple of Shibuya. Got some red hot news for you. Oh. Uh, now I got a horrible feeling. Run! A new game has finally begun. Uh, 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 uh. Fred, look out! I've seen this before. Fred, are you okay? Wait, what's happening? going on or what any of this means uh. just make it stop uh. Uh. that was close Like the action is really heating up. Well, that was confusing. <laughs> uh, I don't know why, but lately it seems like I've been playing a lot of games that have to deal with uh, time manipulation, some aspect of time. So that looks like what's happening here as well. And we have our cast of characters. We've already met Rindo. We've met Fret. And it's going to spoil who these characters are, but, uh, Nagy. And, uh, I believe there's going to be a, quite a few characters from the previous game. At least I'd imagine so. Because this is a sequel. So, uh, yep. Mina Momoto. I think you guys may remember him from last time. He was a interesting character but um i mean i can't wait to see what like what or what is going to be discussed here how the story is going to like evolve we got a while to go i think um i mean i'd like to imagine the first game it wasn't super long but 
there was a lot of extras to be done. And in order to get, like, the whole story, there was quite a bit that needed to be accomplished. Kind of almost in a sense of replaying the whole game. Kind of. So, we may be doing the same thing here, but frankly, it depends on time and if I want to. More than likely, I will, but it, it just it depends on a lot of things. So, I do apologize. I'm really talking over this pretty awesome heavy metal track going in the background, but eh. Whew. So, what game was that guy talking about? And why is it so dangerous? Your guess is as good as mine. Are you kidding? More new players? <sighs> and here I thought I was done for the day. Rindo Kanade. Tosai Furusawa. Um... Can we help you? Miss... Shoka Sakurane, one of the Reapers. Don't play dumb. I saw your Sykes. Which means now I've got to get you Bozo's registered. Huh? Registered for what? For the Reapers game? Did you not notice that your phones got updated, or...? Anyway, you're all set. Welcome to the RNS. RNS? Reaper Networking Service. Be sure to check the official account. Official account? Yes. And these are your starter pins. What for? You earn points with them. Earn enough points, you win the game. But how do we earn points? And what is this game? Look, my shift's over. So ask someone else, would you? Like another player, or another Reaper. Literally anyone but me. And I'm out. Later, losers. Uh, uh, did she just say Reaper? Like Grim Reaper? I mean, that's what I heard. Yikes, she was giving off some scary vibes. Almost as scary as those explosions. Think those were part of this game too? Huh? What were those? Well, Shoka seems like an interesting character. She was like literally done though, like to just not want to deal with us, so. Alright, we all have those days. Hmm. Where did this come from? Ah, right. Must be that RNS. But wherever it came from, it looks like it replaced my usual app. Huh, says something about a team. Like a group chat? Wanna make one? Not much point when you're the only one left in my contacts. Man, I wish that girl would have actually explained things. Yo! <gasps> you kids must be the newbies. Oh, <laughs> fresh out of the box, ain't ya? Hmm? Mm -hmm. Oh ho! Oh ho! <laughs> what? What's so funny? You just couldn't help yourselves, could ya? Should have made a quiet move and teamed up with a pro instead of painting a big old target on your backs. S target? Us? You start in last place. You get stuck down there, and before you know it. You get a race. You're one hell of a poison disc, bro. W well, who are you then? The name's Kaichi Suzuki. But my teammates call me Suzukichi. We ruin bringers are the best team in the game. Is that so? By game, do you mean this whole Reapers game thing? Wait, why am I even taking this guy seriously? Ha! You discs don't even know what game you're playing. 
I'd say it's only a matter of time till somebody sweeps ya. Won't be us, though. Not yet, at least, seeing as you're starting so far behind. Too bad. But hey, maybe you got some untapped potential. Only one way to find out. You want to stave off erasure? Then see if you can handle the noise. Uh, I don't hear anything. <laughs> Do you even know how to scan, bro? You don't hear the noise, you see it. And to do that, you gotta focus. Close your eyes, quit thinking, and just feel. <sighs> what the hell? Whoa. What? And so it begins. Blacks play their disc, white to move. Every region is yours for the taking. It's flip or get flipped, erase or face erasure. That's how you play the game. A minute to pick up, a lifetime to perfect. Flip what? He lost me. Don't sweat it too much. You ain't gonna get it right the first time around. So just play the game and keep it loud. And if I see your discs trying to make any quiet moves, I'll break the board in two. <gasps> Does he mean us? Did you understand any of that? How the hell could I? I haven't understood a single thing that's happened since you picked up those creepy pins. Hey, can't spell confusion without fun, right? Never heard of a game where you see sounds or whatever, but it might be cool, let's do it. Whatever you say. It's always interesting to hear that voice come out of character, like, in my opinion, it's like, huh, I wasn't expecting that. It's not to say it's not good. I just wasn't expecting it. Anyway, just like the first game, you can scan your surroundings, and this is how you can visualize the enemies known as noise. You touch the symbols representing them to initiate combat. So we see here, we see a noise. We see one. Now, I'd imagine that as we keep playing, the wherever that we're currently at we're gonna see a bunch of them there is a feature at least this is how it was in the first game you can like do a chain battle where you fight multiple waves of noise and it has its benefits like you can sometimes get better uh pins uh better more yen etc so i'm kind of hoping the same thing can be done here but we'll see but we gotta learn how to actually play and fight so, as we see there, it's a drop rate of just one. So, uh, Rindo and the gang can tap into their latest psychic powers using the pins that they've equipped. Press the button assigned to a given pin to unleash its corresponding psych. Uh, tilt the left stick to move the character you last used. Target foes by tilting the right stick and evade their attacks by pressing X. Okay. Tells us how many, how much, uh experience we have to level up so we have triangle and square to attack enemies and frankly I, I'm just kind of going crazy on just smacking things um, and if it works it works now the things like you really can't mash it too much because you'll see that there's a, a little bit of a cooldown the game will explain all this oh hey look a trophy Okay, what well, my first battle uh, I have uh, I've not taken a look at the trophy list uh, I'm assuming it may spoil me so I'm, I'm going to try not looking at it uh, in terms of I'm gonna platinum the game that really depends anyway uh, oh, rank B uh, so we only have one round uh, time didn't do that well decent damage we got 10 PP I forgot what that means uh, our badges or pins do level up with our experience, so that's nice. Oh, I keep forgetting when the hell, like, are they going to talk or not? So, uh, how do we manage to do that? What? The hell if I know. Okay, uh, be honest, buddy. How cool did I look just now? It, it was like AR or something. Except instead of augmented reality, it was awesome reality! Hey. Seriously? That's what you're worried about? 
Well, what else am I supposed to worry about? Dude, don't overthink it, my ring dude. Just embrace the cool superpowers. Wait, let me check something. Let's see. Welcome to the Reapers game. Access to RNS. Find the official account. Today's mission. Ah, here. Utilize your sights to erase the target. Receive your orders before the faithful dog. The path to the target shall open to those who follow. Mm. Yes, sir, Mr. App, sir. So, faithful dog. Think they're talking about Hachiko? Don't know. Well, there's only one way to find out. Which would be... By heading over to old Hachiko and seeing for ourselves, of course. Yeah, not like we got anything better to do. All right, so you can bounce out of battle, basically escaping, by touching the touchpad and and just pausing the action and run away. Hmm. If you're not feeling a fight, select run away and your team will split. Keep in mind that you won't be able to run from every encounter. Okay. And I don't like running away from fights, so I think we'll be okay. Let me think this through. Our next mental note is to head over to Hachiko. Which, uh, I believe you guys may have noticed before, uh, this was in the first game as well, and this is a real statue because it's based on a real story. It's kind of sad, actually, if you guys, don't, if you guys haven't read or heard the story of Hachiko. If you want to be upset, look it up. Whoa! What the? Huh? What is it now? Well, I was just taking my galaxy brain for a test run and... Dude, quit messing around. There's some more of those monsters. Meh, we can take them. We'll be fine. If you say so. Anyway, as I was saying before you so rudely interrupted me, I did a scanny thing and suddenly I could hear these voices. Like, what, the people around us? See, that's what I thought, but check it out. Their lips aren't moving. And now I can't tell where the voices are coming from. Mm. Huh. That is kind of weird. Like you're reading people's minds or something. Whoa. Oh, that's it! Mind reading! Oh, maybe. I'll give it a whirl, Rin dude. See for yourself. Might as well, I guess. Alright, so by pressing... Uh, actually... No, yeah. Just like scanning, we can press our, push R1 and you can... Uh, see people's thoughts sometimes, and if we just push X, if we push X next to it, you can read their thoughts a little bit. Uh, I'm going to assume it's not going to be like, because a lot of people are going to have a lot of things to say, I'm sure. But I'm sure at the same time, a lot of it is not necessary. She's talking about some teenage heartthrob. Uh, first class reunion in 10 years. How do I fall for my first love all over again? Should I break up with my current boyfriend? Oh, wow. You are not that great of a lady, apparently. <laughs> Dang, we really can read minds. Man, this is so cool. Man, I'm getting all psyched up. Very funny. So what, is this part of the game too? How does that even work? Ah, don't know, don't care. Come on, let's get to Hachiko. Well, wouldn't want to be late. Ugh. Late for what? Fret? Jeez. What's the deal with this game? Mm. It is a little weird, right? If I look. scan again, can I... So you see here, like, <laughs> consistency and like all these other people. Mm -hmm. We really don't need mm. to listen to them. And frankly, I won't unless it's necessary. So, but you know, it is something to look at if you so desire. So, this is the Hachiko we're looking for, yeah? Mm -hmm. Pretty sure it's the only Hachiko. Hmm? Is it just me, or does the guy over there seem kind of creepy? No, yeah, he's totally sus. Sup? Hey, it's you two. You players? Sup? Oh, shit. He's talking to us. What do we do? Calm down there, pal. You kids strike me as a couple of newbies. We do? I mean, I guess we technically are. Okay. I knew it. Just try not to get yourselves erased right out of the gates, huh? 
Yes, sir! Got it, sir! This, this appearing doesn't sound so bad right now, actually. Don't be like that. You gotta play to win. Now, ready for your mission? Have a look. Huh? Mission? Uh, does that mean the game is starting? Let's see. Reveal the skull's true colors. Yep, that's what it says. Uh, skulls? What skulls? And where are they? How do you find them? Try using your own two skulls and figure it out. Okay, but what are these stripes all about? And what do A, B, C, and D mean? Hmm. I feel like I've seen this somewhere. Should be a piece of cake. Just think Shibuya. Uh, oh, the stripes are a crosswalk. It's a scramble crossing. See? That wasn't so hard now, was it? Okay, but I'm still stuck in the letters. Maybe they're supposed to mark places around the crossing? Guess you better check them out. And once you figure out those skulls' colors, head back here. Have fun. Um, so much fun. Anyway, we hitting up the crosswalk? Yeah, let's head to the spots level A through D. What do you think will be there? <sighs> Won't know until we go. Hope this whole thing doesn't give us too much trouble. Better list up everything we find so we don't get confused. Puzzles! Alright, so we're apparently right next to C. And we're looking for a skull. What's going on here? Is this C? I'm gonna go with yes. No skulls, though. Except the ones in, those, in these people's heads. Probably not those. But that does give me an idea. Hey. Oh, well, let's hear it. Mm -hmm. We could try scanning the area for a hint. Oh, I gotcha. Maybe somebody will point us in the right direction. Yeah, worth a shot anyway. All right. Yeah. Whoa, look at that. So I'm going to go ahead and assume that anybody with a red thought bubble is like mandatory. So let's see what this person has to say. His arm art. Finally, it's my arm with a tattoo of my dreams. My girl doesn't dig the purple skull, but I, I think it looks sick. Besides, it's just a wash-off sticker. Oh, well, that's not too bad, too big of a deal. But look at that purple skull. <laughs> you hear that? A purple skull. Mm -hmm. Nice. So C is purple. <laughs> Man, we are so smart. All right, so that's C. Let's go to A. I think I already see it. Ah, this should be about where A is. Mm -hmm. Yep. And look on the sign. <laughs> A yellow skull. Neat. That makes A yellow. And with that, our work here is done. Quay? Yo, Rin Dude, was this wall of thorns always here? Don't think so. Looks pretty painful, too. Let's not mess with it, shall we? Yeah, better just turn back. Mm -hmm. But how come everyone else is passing through it like it's, like it's nothing? Is it just us, or what? Hmm. I, I do gotta say, if, if I was in their, in their position and I saw things like that blocking me in, I'd be freaking out. So this is B, and I think you guys know the other one here. Okay, so apparently we're at B right now. Sweet. Any spooky, scary skulls around? Hey. Oh, wait. There it is. What? Where? Up on that Jumbotron. Not sure how you can miss it. It's right there. Hey, you're right. There's a blue skull. Man, screen time on that thing can't come cheap. Running this game must cost a fortune. I bet. Guess it's a pretty big deal. Right? Anyway, we found our skull. B for blue. <laughs> yeah, we totally got this. And now we just have D, and then we would... We have this. Uh, our head's empty. How dare you? Anyway, can't really see a skull. I do see something weird on the floor, though. I think this is D. Okay. I don't see any skulls, though. Yep. No skulls. 
Uh, wait, what's this weird mark? Uh, ah, the manhole cover? It looks like one of those noise symbols worth investigating. Wait, that was a, that was a period. Worth investigating, if you ask me. <laughs> you think we have we have to fight something? <laughs> Most likely. But let's give her a scan then. All right. Let's have a look. Is this the only mm -hmm. thing? Yep, it looks like it's the only noise. So let's go ahead and fight it. Uh, and this is where it's going to talk about rebooting. So basically, pins use up energy and it has that gauge. Once it's depleted, you will have to wait until they reboot so we can use it again. So it's basically a cool off period or a cooling period. Don't um, Got new enemies here flying God knows what. So go ahead and just start kicking his things, but if I can. What? Circle does something. I'm, I'm probably doing it way too early, but, um, I mean, they'll tell us what that does. But look at that. Easy. Got rank A. I got one times 1.3 PP, so that's something. Uh, still don't have our pins fully up, but it's okay. Man, we're almost too good at this. All right, let's not get carried away. I'm serious, though. This game's a walk in the park. Maybe I'm a natural-born psych prodigy. Uh-huh. Sure. Rin, dude. This is a game. It's supposed to be fun. Well, listen up and play along. Wow, Fred. You're so amazing, cool, and good at everything. Right? Finally, the recognition I deserve. Give me a break. Love that for you. Hey. So, you see that over there? Whoa! Well, I'm where? Oh! The manhole cover. Looks like our skull. And it's a red one. So D is red. Hey, the official account just went live. Greetings. Ah, oh, it's this douchebag. Greetings, sheeple of Shubia. This is your Game Master, Shiba, speaking. <laughs> Hope you've been having fun on this day one. Got some red-hot news for ya. Hey, I remember him. It's that guy who screen jacked the crossing yesterday. One team has managed to complete today's objective. Wait, somebody else already finished the mission? I guess. Didn't really realize there was anybody else. <laughs> the rest of you might want to light a fire under your asses. Especially you want to be the best to take the, the first to take down the target. So, who's it gonna be? Are the Deep River Society uh, finally gonna pull themselves out of the gutter? Maybe even knock the Ruin Bringers off the throne and take the top spots? It's anyone's game, folks! Who's gonna prove that they've got the brains and brawn to win it all? Maybe it'll be our dark horse. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Rindo's group. Um, <laughs> looks like somebody's got not afraid of putting themselves out there. <laughs> yeah, Rin, dude. Egotistical much? Whatever you call yourselves, I want to hear that name thunder through the booyah. Show me what you've got. Or else. Adieu. And with that, I bid you adieu. Yeah, he sure seems stoked about this whole game thing. A little too stoked, if you ask me. More importantly, hey. what the hell is Rindo's group? Oh, yeah, I was going to ask you the same thing. Uh... I mean, I guess I might kind of sort of have an idea of what it is, but, you know. Fret, what'd you do? Uh, well, you see, this window popped up asking if I wanted to create a team, like a group chat, right? And then they asked me to pick a leader, which was weird for a group chat, but I just kind of put your name there. And then I guess it went with the default name since I got tired of typing stuff. So, um, Rindo's group? So you're telling me you signed us up as a team? <laughs> I guess I did. <laughs> but it's not so bad, right? I mean, that guy basically called us the superstars of Shubia. <laughs> at least we could do is play along. <sighs> if we're going to play, then let's at least come up with a better name. 
Oh yeah, there's more text in between Swallow and uh, ourselves. Hey Swallow, did you hear about the event of Shubia? Apparently it's some kind of game and everyone has to play? Don't know what it is or what it's all about, but I'm going to make sure I win. Let's get it. I wonder if they're even still around. Hey! Alright, so... Oh yeah, the top of the name later, but we completed our mission, I guess, technically. So let's go ahead and turn it in. Yes. We found all the skulls. Well, ain't you two the picture of confidence. So, spit it out. I told you to reveal the skulls' true colors. So, what are they? Oh, um... A's yellow, B's blue, C's purple, and D is red. Correct! Not bad for a couple of newbies. <laughs> oh, yeah! That was a total breeze! Fret, shush. Okay. Objective met. Head on through to Shibuya Hakari. So, I guess we're supposed to go there next? Mm -hmm. I mean, we probably wouldn't be letting us through if we weren't. <laughs> Alright then! Shibuya Hikari, here we come! Where is that at? Just below us. Okay. I think this is... Wait. Not really below us, but to the right of us. Uh, I don't think we've been here yet, so... Hey, how about we bust some more noise on the way? Jeez, you sure are having fun. Of course I am! It's a game! And there's a boss battle coming up, my, my guy! <laughs> Gotta level up if we want to win. And scanning. Give me a break. I got a bad feeling. Oh, uh, this could be a lot tougher than I thought. Uh, but don't sweat. We we've got we got Fred. Uh, you're with Fred. We got this, Rindu. Let's see. So we can drop the beat. So we hit an enemy with a psych under the right conditions to summon a circular beat drop gauge. Strike with another psych while the gauge is shown to initiate a beat drop combo and increase your groove. Uh, we So we kind of saw this when it said, like, sick and, like, down the beat, whatever. I just keep mashing and then, boom, it's there. Uh, press the circle button when your groove is at 100% to unleash a mashup and blast your foes with a super powerful combo psych. So we've seen this uh, previously as well, but they're going they're going ahead and explaining it here. I'm all set. It's go so... Oh, it looks like we may level up with uh, here as well. Ooh, yeah, that's that looks kind of dangerous. Let's get rid of these guys first, just so we don't have to worry about them. So you see how this drop the beat, sick, all that. Oh, there we go, we leveled up. Uh, where? Oh, never mind. I was like, where the hell's the other uh, boss or other enemy? But I guess we defeated it. Come on, get that groove up there. There we go. So, Are we awesome easy as that. And I gotta say, the game plays, Not it's very smooth. I'm happy to, I'm happy to, uh, to see that, really. Uh, took no damage, so we got a star rating. Cool, cool. Uh, so not only did we level up, but our pins did as well. Hey, Rim Dude, think we missed a few. Where? Um... All around us? So if this is a game, is there a game over? What do you think would happen to us then? Uh... Nothing good. Is it too late to quit? Can we quit? Don't know. What if we tried logging out? Of that app? Yeah, and I'll call the devs for help. Reaper team! This feels a little unsafe! What the... Hey, did you do that? Cause it definitely wasn't me. So, Zed a week. Oh, where'd you come from? If those are the best equations you got, your days are numbered. Huh? What did he say? You two supposed to be players? Or are you just a couple pieces of trash that fell off the heap? Huh, <laughs> doesn't matter. If it's the latter, then you're getting compacted with the rest of the pile. Uh, aren't you a familiar looking character? A mysterious man has joined your team and brought a new pin with him. 
The more members on your team, the more psychs you can use in combat. Hold down R1 to charge up power and then release to unleash an aerial kick. I'm all set. It's go time. All right, so we, we, we fight with square, triangle, and R1. Uh, all right. Let's get rid of some of these guys if we can. All right, all the frogs are... Oh, they're not all gone. And we got hit pretty bad there. Uh... Let's, okay, good. Let's get rid of this guy now. I'm having a hard time. Oh, crap. I'm having a hard time using the R1 for the kick. Jeez, there we go. Oh, we leveled up again, too. Nice. Level A? Hey, my first pin. Oh, mastered one type of pin. We actually master both of them, so that's pretty cool. And I'm sure they'll be talking about like what it means to master them and all that stuff. Crunch! Dang, he's incredible. What's his deal? Is he a player or something? Whoever he is, he really saved our bacon. Not sure he was doing it for our sakes, but he was a big help, that's for sure. Ahem. Hey, mister, thanks for lending us a hand. We're kind of new to this game, so we need all the help we can get. You seem like you've been doing this for ages, though. Which team are you on? If you think you stand a chance after that disastrous performance, you've said a miscalculated. Um, time for a little quiz. What's the probability of you two surviving the game? Um, uh, one zepto percent, if that. Huh? 10 to the negative 21st power. So that's 0 0.00000. So you're saying it's really small, huh? Not small, infinitesimal. So close to zero, the two points nearly converge. So zero, basically. But not precisely. The game's 142,857. Factor it out. What? Huh? huh. The name's Sho Minamimoto. I don't follow the associative property like other players. No telling what would happen if I integrated myself with a couple of zeptograms like you. A couple of what? Now you're saying we're small too? <laughs> Listen up, Zeptograms. You want to be part of the remainder? Then follow my lead. Um, that was bizarre. What are you standing there for, Rin, dude? Let's go. Don't want to keep our new teammate waiting. New teammate? Well, yeah. Him coming to our rescue back there was basically his way of begging us to let him join. That's one interpretation. It says here 142,857 is a cyclic number. Meaning? Couldn't tell you. Maybe our new teammate will fill us in. We have now officially have Minamoto on our team. And I'm just curious, can we change the stuff now? Doesn't look like we can. Actually, no, okay, look at that. So, you see now, now we can actually drop our level. Uh, and once again, if we decrease it, we'll lose HP, but have a drop rate of pins. Now, unfortunately, I still can't change the difficulty, so I'm not sure what's going on there, but I'm gonna make the game a little bit harder for me by putting on one. And actually, let's see. So every time we decrease it, it goes down by 30 HP. That's what it seems like, so. Uh, I don't think that's terrible. All right. Gotta focus. Now, I'm also gonna see if there's any more um, noise right here, and I don't think there is. Just wanted to check. Anyway, let's go ahead and continue then. So we gotta go to the next area. We gotta take down the target in front of that was it. Should be a Hikari. There, there we are. Let's have a look. Let's see, we made it. I don't see any other noise. Okay. Now, where would the big bad boss be hiding? Maybe we can find it by scanning. 
Whoa. It looks like the noise found us first. Hey, Zeptograms. Hey, time to take out the trash. I guess so. I guess I could go around or two. All right. This actually might be Let's our first this. boss. No? Not yet. Either way, let's take care of some of these noise. We got this. Just uh, kind of get them out of the way. Ooh, circle, good. Let's get rid of the big guy now that we have this big one here. Uh, there you go. I hope I didn't have to like save up that, the groove. We're back at 45% anyway, so it's fine. Naturally. All right, level that up. No new pins though. It's close. Huh? What's close? Heaps of trash always uh, coalesce around the critical point. Meaning the boss is nearby. Woo! Time to meet the boss. It should be Ikari. Uh, wait. Hang on a sec. Is this a pin? Yeah, looks like it. I think we're supposed to use it. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> That's your reward for nullifying the noise. Too bad it's worthless unless your psych level is greater than or equal to its... Our what level? Yeah, what you talking about? We've been using these ones just fine. What? The rational. Who would make trash pins like these for the least common denominator? Dude, what? In this game... It looks like the pin's values are undefined. Even zero vectors like you can use them. Neat! Rindo, translation. Ah. Uh, I think he means that we can use any pins we find, just the ones we got before. Uh. And more pins means more powers, yeah? Sweet! Come on, let's see what this one does. On the way to Shibuya Ikari for our very important mission, of course. Oh, we got a new pin. Firestorm! Stir up a small whirlpool of fire around the target that damages any foes caught inside. Uh, wherever the target goes, the storm swiftly follows. Chance of slightly burning <coughs> the enemy. Excuse me. Ah, and this is how we go about picking pins. So we can push L1 or R1 to access the pins tab on the main menu, where we can adjust our party members' pin loadouts. Equip the pins you're required to unleash our corresponding psychs in combat. Note that two pins using the same input cannot be equipped at the same time. Not yet, at least. So basically, like, if you need to use, like, L2 or square to use a, an attack, you can't have another one that uses L2 or square. But they said, not yet, at least. So, let's check out the main menu once it actually allows us to. Just waiting for this to finish out. There you go. Nope, never mind. We had to get that ellipses in for Mina Momoto. Uh, no, that's not it. No, that's not it either. How the hell do I... Mm. Oh, they, they told us L1R1. Jeez. Um, so we have our thoughts here. Here's our pins. So, let's see. We have team abilities, which we don't have any have any yet. Uh, they even tell us, like, what's recommended. And, uh, and I guess all the ones that we currently have... And on the right, it tells you more about the pins themselves. Like, we have uh, the power, what affinity it has, the level it, it, it is, uh, what type of beat drop it got. It has the limit reboots, the growth rate. It also tells us its evolution. Basically meaning, is there a new form once you master it? For a lot of these, no, but apparently for the kick, the Jolie Bicot or whatever, uh, that does actually evolve. Now, in terms of power, 55, really 55? Hmm. So it's weaker, but at the same time, we already mastered these two pins. So my way of thinking is, Let's use the newer pins so we can master them, you know, because you never know what's going to happen. So, let's go ahead and, uh, I guess I'll remove... You know what? Let's let, let's have, um, let's replace the force rounds with the fire. How about that? So now the attacks are triangle L2 R1. This is going to be a little interesting to use. Uh, automatically saved, and I don't see any more noise right about now. Uh, 
Oh, this actually might be it, but hold on really quick. I just want to see if anything happens when I go to the right. Let's have a look. Maybe like anything uh, new or like anything secret. Not that I see. This should be the place. He did say it should be a Hikari, right? He did, but where? Oh, I get what's going on here. You know what we gotta do, don't you? Mm -hmm. Let me guess. Scan. Yep, can't fight what, we, what you can't see. But what if there's like a lot of noise? Correct. Then we throw them in a linear equation, eliminate them all. <laughs> you sure do love saying funny things, big guy. <laughs> Excuse me. And he loves his uh, his math stuff, his math talk, if you guys didn't realize. There it is. It's huge. Is it? Where? Yeah, that looks bad. Oh. <laughs> it's already down to about 60% of its original life force. Which means we gotta clean up the mess some other trash left behind. Let's move, Zeptogram times two. Yes. Got it. I'll show this guy who's a Zepto whatever. That face that Fret makes. Alright. This looks like our this is our definitely our first boss. Uh looks like a scorpion of some type. Keep it together. Alright. Here we go. Uh Alright. Kinda. Kinda getting it. He's weak to the fire as well, so that's good. Uh-oh. I think he's... I think he's actually also, uh... Ooh, wait, fire! Uh... I think he's, like, poisoned or something. Somebody was poisoned like, on our team. Alright. Yeah, we're poisoned a little bit. Okay, let's go. I gotta remember to, like, dodge and all that, but I, I know I'm not doing it properly. But... Well, I'll be okay, I think. Okay, be careful of the poisonous gas. Move out of the way, damn it. Oh, really? That thing just homed in. There you go. Come on. There you go. That could have gotten... That could have went a lot better, but... I'll take it. First boss defeated. And of a lowered, uh... Level 2, like with us. That's not so bad, right? Yeah, it's, it's not really bad. I mean... At least I don't think it's that bad. Um... Could have gotten better, but... I'll take it. Alright! <laughs> yeah! Why are we cheering? Wait, we won? We won! Man, that was almost too easy. So, do we get a prize or something? A big old round of applause. Hey, it's little Miss Reaper. It's Shoka. <laughs> Okie dokie, Shoki. Anyway, the target's down, so you're done for today. You even managed to avoid coming in dead last. No way. Believe me, I'm just as shocked as you are. I was sure a couple of noobs like you would get slaughtered in seconds. Glad we could prove you wrong. You're tougher than you look. Like, suspiciously so. <laughs> Sounds like we really caught your eye. Uh, no. But your team name did. Have you considered changing it to something less stupid? We'll consider it. Suit yourself. Anyway, you didn't die today, so there's that. Later, losers. Uh, so that's it? No prize or nothing? Huh? We got something. Today's results. Although the Pure Hearts took down today's target, the Ruin Bringers remain on top. Well, I don't get it. What about our team? Couldn't tell you, Rin, dude. I guess some heroes don't get the celebrations they deserve. Anyway, I'm over it. Plus, it's getting late. How's about we call it a day? Mr. Minami's already long gone. Oh, <sighs> well, didn't even get to thank him for his help. No point in sticking around, then. Let's go. Hey, Fred? So. Is your RNS app kind of buggy? I haven't really checked. Why? I'm having connection issues or something. It's not letting me message anyone. Wait, I lied. I can still message you.
Maybe it's because we're right next to each other or something? Huh, weird. Meh, it'll probably fix itself overnight. Well, see you in class tomorrow, buddy. Yeah, see ya. Hey, I'm back online. I love that they're using like Final Fantasy stickers. Like we, I think that was Carbuncle, um, the Tom Barry right there at the end. Oh, crap, I already forgot the other one that they just used. But oh well. Oh, Cactar. Never mind. And so it begins. I sure hope you wake up soon. But I want you to miss all the action. I don't know who's talking, and I'm confused already. By the way, that was the end, I guess, of the prologue chapter i'm not really sure exactly but there we go and now we're going to begin day two of course we'll delve more into that in the next episode huh i'm back in shibuya wait what time is it last thing i remember i was on my way home from the city did i not make it or something suffering dude fred Wait, I want to try using my galaxy brain instead. Hmm. Whoa, I'm back in the booyah. This is bonkers. Well, was I right? Close. Huh? No way. Yeah, way. It's day numero two, pal. This game ain't over yet. I need to tell my folks where I am. I bet they're worried sick. Well, they might be worrying for a while. I can't contact anyone, and I doubt you can either. What is this? Heed the instructions provided by the mission app. Solve the riddles sketched on the city's canvas and locate the target. <sighs> Another mission? Not sure I totally get what it wants us to do, though. Here's an idea. Did you try reading it, for starters? Um... <laughs> <laughs> the mission starts the second that message reaches your phone. Did you not realize the clock is ticking here or what? Who are you, Gramps? <laughs> Gramps, ouch! Guess Mommy never taught you to respect your elders. Okay, so you got a name? Do I ever? It's Kubo! Tanzo Kubo, I'm with the Reapers. Everybody's been fussing about this new team. So I decided to come and have a look-see for myself. Oh, is that so? Well, go ahead. Get a real good look. Take a picture if you wanna. <laughs> Not bad. You've got Moxie, kid. So, where are the rest of you is hiding? You mean our team? It's, uh, just us. I hope Minamimoto helping us out wasn't a one-time deal. <laughs> Use Mr. Memo, but this is supposed to be a team game. You just compete and earn points by doing all sorts of things. Erasing noise, completing missions, yada yada yada. And the team that racks up the most points after seven days wins. Whoa, slow down. We have to do this for a whole week? And what if we don't feel like playing? Can we just not? <laughs> nope, you gotta play till the end, kid. Dude, that is not cool. We've got lives to get back to. Not <laughs> anymore, you don't. You're killing me here, Gramps. That said, if you really want out, there is one way. I told you how teams compete to earn the most points, right? Well, if you top the table, then we'll grant whatever you wish for. All you's gotta do is win. Easier said than done. So aim for the stars, my would-be winners. Winners, eh? 
Although, word to the wise here, you might want to bolster your ranks first. After all, you won't get much done as a duo. But I'm sure you knew that already. Ooh. So fight like your lives are on the line. Well, figuratively speaking, seeing as you're already dead. <laughs> <sighs> Anyways, try not to fall too far behind the pack. Then worst comes to worst, you can go down in a blaze of glory. So give me something fun to watch this week, will ya? And with that, I'll leave you to it. <laughs> Please don't tell me all the Reapers are like him. Or that this game seriously lasts an entire week. That's what he said. How are we gonna survive a full week with just the two of us? So did you Zeptograms have time to process today's mission? Mr. Mr. Minami. Minami! Does this mean you're back for good? Man, life could not get any better. We've got it made, Rin, dude. Don't get the wrong idea. We're solving completely different problems here. But I'll help you subtract some rogue integers. You want to boost your chances of survival, right? Well, yeah. Whatever it takes to get the hell out of here. Then you either multiply or face deletion. Oh, and make sure you pick up any pins you see lying around. Now let's get this show on the road. But definitely in the next episode after we do all this. Huh? Huh? The hell? Some app's just installing on its own. Same. Did we get hacked? Oh, who the hell are you now? Whoa. Okay, wait. We want us to check our phone? Um. Salutations! What? Who the hell? It is I, the man standing before you. Uh, oh. Uh, hello. Ah, oh, feel free to speak as you normally would. What's going on? Let me see. This guy's messaging me. Please extend my greetings to your friend as well. Huh? Me? Uh, hi there. So, uh, how come you're so quiet? You shy or something? Wait, let me let me back up. Who are you? Huh. My name is Kaye Ono. Alright, maybe he's another Reaper? I run a digital fortune-telling shop on Spain Hill. Okay, maybe not. Like, you predict the future? In a sense, but do forgive me for not speaking aloud. I'm far more comfortable communicating via text. Yikes, this, this guy's got issues. <laughs> oh, you wound me, although you are not mistaken. <laughs> wow. As it were, I am the developer of the new application you just downloaded. It will serve many uses throughout your missions. For instance, it can act as an answer sheet, as it shall for today's challenge. Solve the riddle via the app once you've collected enough clues. How do we know what's enough? You'll just have to trust your instincts. But if you lack confidence, feel free to consult me at any time. Mm. Well then, I wish you the best of luck. Thanks. <sighs> Think he's out? He's one of those Reapers too? Probably. Another notification? You're not even close. Wait, was that you just now? No, it was the app. Uh, oh. So, close to what exactly? Beats me. Guess the app will tell us when we get closer to wherever the hell it is. Uh, kind of like we're trying to hit a pinata. Mm. Except without the candy. Anyway, let's walk around a little. Whew. Solve the riddle sketched around town. And there is the guy there. What to do? Let's see, guess we just follow the mission app's instructions. Okay. But uh, I'm going to take a look at the main menu here, and I'm going to call it a video for today. We'll, we'll begin next time, day two. So we don't have any more, any new pins. Um, a few of them are mastered. Now you see here that we started with like 55 power, and now that because it leveled up, it's up to 75. So that's pretty cool. So that's, that's another reason to want to use other another pin because uh, it could evolve with power. Um, this will evolve eventually. Hmm. We, the threads 
option is not selectable yet. The streets. Basically, like a map. We can only show, like, what's the places we currently have been to. Now, interestingly enough, on the right there, it tells you what quests may be available, but also what type of noise are going to be there. So, and also, we if we break down the areas we're going to be seeing here, um, I mean, frankly, the map isn't that large. And even in the original game, or the first game in the series, it wasn't really big at all. And I'm not expecting it to be insanely huge here either. So, we'll just see what happens there. But it almost seems like there might be side quests, according to those quests uh, tab on the right. And finally, we have records. Check out the various swag you've snagged over the course of journey through the collection section of the records menu. Do you have what it takes to complete this extensive collection? Probably not, because that's a lot. But we'll see. Like, apparently there's 107 books to be found. There's 51 music tracks. There's 333 pins. That's, that's a lot. I mean, I, as much as I'd love to see, see them all and try them all, I don't know if I ever will. But I want to say more than likely, like, for example, we know that this aerial kick does evolve. So I'm assuming, like, the next one is the, the evolution of it. So I, I think that for a majority of them, that's what's going to mean. Like, it's not really 333 different pins per se, but just everything in total, including the leveled up pins. So we'll see how bad that is. And phew, there's a lot here. 277 pieces of thread. Or, like, music. I mean, dear God. Like, clothing. And maybe accessories. Also, food. 95 different food items. As you see there on the bottom left, 2%. I have no idea how like, if I want to do this 100%. As much as I would like to, that just seems like too damn much. Apparently, there's also graffiti, which we can express ourselves with. We can earn street art uh, throughout the adventures, which you can use to tag the wall in the graffiti section of the records menu. Uh, beginner's luck. Uh, and it looks like we have 1.9% of our graffiti, so we can scale it, we can rotate it, we can reorient it to how the hell it was. Um, so yeah, there you go. Oh, we also get different... Uh, Different pins based on what the hell we do. Okay. I'm not sure what the hell the psychic rank means. Only human. I guess just our level period? I don't know. But, uh... Oh, wait. Let me put that back. There we go. I don't know if I'm going to be doing this a lot, but, you know, whatever. So, just a kind of cool thing to have, I guess. And that looks to be it so next time ladies and gentlemen we will see Let me think this through what the hell they're talking about in terms of solving these riddles around the town and we can take things from here now i do realize this is basically kind of like a one-to-one -one thing based on the demo i played a couple weeks back but once again it's more so if people didn't see the demo they can see the first episode of the lp and kind of take things from there i mean uh, I will say, like, even the first game in the series, it took a little while to get, like, really into, and I feel like it's going to be the same thing here. So, I say, you know, if you're interested, intrigued, you know, but you're still, like, a little, a little unsure, give it a few hours and see how you feel. But, uh, yeah, can't wait to see what else is going to happen and see where the hell the story is going to go. So... As usual, thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you all next time for Let's Play Neo, The World Ends With You. Love you all so much. Have a great day.